Good morning, my fellow yoga travelers. I'm mighty glad to be alive today. And I hope that you are too, as we continue to live, laugh, love, learn, linger, live the life we love. Don't forget the loaf and hydrate. Okay. I've always wanted to do this a cappella. Uh, I can't even say I know what these words mean, but they sound good. Desolation Row. I'll only do two verses of the 12, but it won't take too much time. They're selling postcards of the hanging. Well, they're painting the passports brown. The beauty parlor is filled with sailors, and the circus is in town. Here comes the blind commissioner. Well, they got him in a trance. One hand is tied to the tightrope walker, and the other is in his pants. And the riot squad, they're restless. Oh, they need somewhere to go. As Lady and I look out tonight on Desolation Row. Cinderella, she seems so easy. It takes one to know one, she smiles. And put her hands in her back pockets, just like Betty Davis style. And in comes Romeo, he's moaning. You belong to me, I believe. And someone says, you're in the wrong place, my friend. I think you'd better leave. And the only sound that's left after the ambulances go is Cinderella sweeping up on Desolation Row. I don't even know what that means, but I just love singing that song. <laughs> I just put it out there. All right. <clears throat> Everything I say is all about me, but there's nothing personal in it. I try to find what is the path of least resistance. Because any attempt that I make to justify something that's not changing in my life, talking about where I'm not, is escalating my resistance rather than allowing in what it is I want. And of course, I don't know if anybody is like me, but I don't like to critique myself. I want to think that I'm perfect just the way I am, but I know it's not true. So, as I mentioned yesterday, we all make bad choices out of confusion. When I'm stressed, when I'm tired, when I'm not taking care of myself, when I'm in a hurry, if I'm angry, if I feel threatened or blamed, I go on automatic. And unconscious behavior takes over, and that is where my joy gets compromised. But yoga has taught me to continually check how my actions might have an effect, not only on me, but on other people. I can't feign helplessness when things spin out of control. I still have responsibility. I can't avoid it. I can't forget about the consequences of my actions, because when I do, I get unintended consequences. So I can't disregard this. I have to check it out. Of course, sitting still, silent reflection, meditation, quote, what you want is one way that you find out, as my teachers would say, where's the bad odor coming from? You know, it's like the bottom bin in your refrigerator where there are rotten vegetables. You know they're in there, and every time you open up, you see them, but then you don't go clean them. You just clean you know, that kind of stuff. It's been there for a long time. So this is kind of a self-cleansing technique. And it's taught me not to be obsessed with security, with consumerism, with overindulging in media, with living a life so I can be entertained being dependent on relationships, any kind of narcissistic involvement with my own life. And then will I have an imagination for the future? Is the future worth having? Always a question. The only way I can get through this is I have to stop continuing to do what I've always done, like this age, and what we get what we've always got, and create some meaningful ideas for the future. And even if I have to do this in my imagination only, you know, it's like kids playing at a tea party when they're younger. They have fantasy images in their mind. They're mimicking what they've seen other people do. And so in the same way, I look to see who are my role models. Can I extract the essence of what I get from them? 
the qualities that are really operative in my psyche. And then if I do that, I understand what the essence of the guru principle is all about. The part of me that can guide me through my own darkness and bring some light and clarity into my life. I hope you find your way.